Well, 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 well. Welcome to Creeper Squad Nerf. Oh man. Oh boy. I am I'm very excited for this one. I I think it's gonna be pretty much impossible to hate this blaster. I am so stoked for this blaster's release. I just got my hands on the brand new Nerf Elite 2.0 Phoenix. Look at it! Look how cool this is! I'm so excited! I don't care if it's Elite 2.0. I'm freaking stoked for this blaster. You know why? You know why? Because it's the Strife. It's a new version of the Strife. And if you don't know what Elite 2.0 is, it's a mix between Alpha Strike and Modulus and Elite. And needless to say, it hasn't exactly been the most refined line out there. Definitely there's been a lot of criticism, mainly because the biggest issue with these blasters is the fact that they have clips holding the pieces of plastic that, ha or that are the shell in one piece. The clip, there are clips holding these blasters together, which is a big issue for modders. But for a stock class nerfer just like my, I am so excited for this thing. You have no idea. It's got the coolest freaking design I've ever seen. This new kind of half translucent shade of bluish grayish color with, with the contrast of orange and white and gray. And this gulp! Oh my goodness! Okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm gonna open the brand new Elite 2.0 Phoenix. And yeah, first I'm gonna open the scope. One and two. And wow. I can already tell this is gonna be like the ultimate attachment for the Centurion. <laughs> I'm super stoked, mainly to put this on the Centurion. Yeah, but here we go. The main package and the buyer's deal. Is, is that all? Oh no, there's one around the barrel. Is there another one holding it in? Oh, yeah, right there. All right. No, nope, it's still stuck. Oh my goodness. This is so inconvenient. <laughs> hey, what? Yeah, there's another one on the magazine. It is so hard to see these. With this freaking mask on. Oh, I can't cut it. And I'm gonna have to get it up. Oh my goodness. There we go. Come out. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, sweet. Baby Jesus, this is the greatest grip ever made. Ever. What, the, what is this? What is this? Holy, oh my God. Oh, I'm already falling in love with this. Listen to this. Okay, so the jam door obviously isn't the most refined thing out there. Um, it's made cutting corners because it's Elite 2.0. It's kind of a cutting corners blaster, which leads me to believe that Hasbro has something really cool planned in the future. Or I could just be delusional. And then it comes with this snazzy new magazine. I really like this. This is a nice six dart magazine. It's got this piece of plastic right here. I wonder, can I take that off? I don't know if I can take that off. I don't know. All I know is I think it looks cool. And just this blaster shell. Look at it, it's got five tactical rails. One, two, three, 
four, five. A barrel attached, a star. This is a modulus in a compromised form for 25 bucks. Who in the hell is marketing this thing? Okay, I'm getting way too ahead of myself. I'm, it's gonna be impossible for me to hate this thing. I know it's clipped together. I know it's basically impossible to disassemble this without breaking it, but I don't even care. I don't care. It, it just looks so cool. And it's so comfortable. I'm going to go put batteries in this. And then we're going to get back to the... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go and take this thing in. I'll be back, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So I just put batteries in this puppy. Four double A's. It requires four double A's to operate. And I have not pulled the rev trigger yet. Here we go. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh my god. It's impossible. It, it, there's no way for me to hate this. It's so freaking cool. Oh my goodness. Listen to this. Listen to it. It's like double motors. It properly sounds like it's from the year 2037. Mother of Jesus. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh my, I don't even care that it's Elite 2 point. It's so cool. I haven't even fired it yet. Even if it sucks, I'm still gonna love it because it's such a cool looking and sounding blaster. As a prop blaster, it's the greatest thing that's ever been created. Oh my goodness. Come out. It comes with 12 elite darts. Two in this kind of. Uh oh. Where'd it go? There we go. Two in this kind of bright orange. Well, I just had to look at that with my mask off. Like bright orange with these blue teal tips and then in opposite colors. So more of like a standard elite color and then a reversed kind of elite color, which is pretty. Cool, I haven't seen that before. The English language is not sufficient enough to describe how stoked I am for this thing. I feel like Ernie's gonna have to do a lot of, of editing because like the amount of just joyous swearing that I'm going to do in this video. God, and I have, I have not really seen reviews for this. I haven't really seen any reviews for this blaster. All I know is that it's an Elite 2.0 gun which means that the shell is clipped together. And that's pretty much it. That's all I know. And that it's got this freaking awesome color scheme and a lot of tactics. All right, it's loaded. I can't even say it. Here we go. First firing. It's so smooth. This is the mo- This is the quietest flywheel blaster. I'm recording. I just- Well, my recording has been terminated. Oh my goodness. I'll, I'll be right back, everyone. Uh, that just happened. <laughs> I don't even know what that was, but- Oh, man. I have no- I have nothing else to say. Let's see it on the firing range. Let's just see this thing on the firing range. First firing the included elite darts. It's so quiet. Wow. Once again, from a different angle. Yeah, 
shooting hockey strike darts. Well, so what is my personal review on the, on the new for 2020 Nerf Elite 2.0 Phoenix? There's nothing that I can say that I haven't already said. This is outstanding for Hasbro this year. Hasbro has created some of the most hated blasters of all time this year. The Elite 2.0 Warden. The Ultra 1. The Ultra 2. Like the Elite, all, most of the Elite 2.0 blasters have been hated because they're clipped together, because you can't take them apart, because they're average performers, and because they are made with less quality than standard blasters. But I have only good things to say about the Phoenix. I am so, so happy that I bought this blaster. The grip is incredibly comfortable. It is the most comfortable grip I've ever seen. The magazine release, while it may be inside the grip, I can just extend my finger out and flip it and it just falls out. It just works. I've already gotten used to it and I've only had the blaster for an hour. An hour. I leave my opinions until after I've put the blaster through my testing procedure, but I came into this thinking I was going to hate it because it's an Elite 2.0 blaster, which is a line that nobody has said good things about. But I've been blown away. This blaster is so, so good. It's so good. It is, and this scope, although I don't really like the tactical attachment point, this scope is the best scope I've ever... Look how good it looks! I can only dream of what this is going to look like on my Centurion. And it's right over there. I can see it from where I'm sitting. I can't wait to attach this to it. And then this blaster. Like, look at this magazine. Look at this, like, plastic piece. I don't really know how I'm supposed to take that off. I'm pretty sure it's possible to take these off. I just can't do it right now. I wouldn't be surprised if they put a tack rail on there one of these days. But the magazine insertion, the magazine release, the amount of tactical rails. This is a modulus ECS-10, a blaster that costs $50. You're getting it for half the price. Half. You're getting a modulus for half the price. I wouldn't call this the new strife. I'd call this the new modulus. No, screw it. This is the new strife. Although the battery tray's up here, which is how the modulus worked, I consider this as being the new strike because this blaster is on store shelves all over the place. I went to Target today, and I found all the Ultra Blasters. I found a whole bunch of Ultra Blasters, and then I found this. I found an Elite 2.0 Phoenix. There's only one left. There were a bunch of... Oh my goodness. There were a bunch of trios. There were a bunch of... Uh, the Nightfinder one, the one with the light on it. I can't remember what it's called. And there were a bunch of the, uh, the one that was supposed to replace the Surge, but I can't remember the name, god dang it. There weren't any turbines there, which is surprising. And there weren't any commanders either, although they said the commander was on the shelf. But it had the Phoenix, and I knew that, like, it was either a choice between this one or the Ultra 4. And I didn't want to buy an Ultra 4 because I thought that I would just get ripped off because it's Ultra. And I decided to buy a Phoenix. This is just so, so cool. I don't care that it's clipped together. I don't care that I can't take it apart. It is so, so cool. And it's symmetrical too. So your attachments will actually make sense on this. There's nothing else I can say. If you want, if you don't have a strike yet, 
and you're looking to, to get a good semi-automatic blaster and you and the strife is too expensive, do not hesitate. Do not hesitate to buy a Phoenix. I've never had a blaster where I make a review and I have only good things to say about it. I feel that time will come if I ever get a Strife or a Raven. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end this review. How am I supposed to do an honest review if I have only good things to say about a product? Hasbro! What were you thinking? Putting something like this in the same line as the Warden. Why would you do that? This is good. This is a good blaster. It sounds so, like, performance-based and, like, professional. It sounds, it's like, it feels professional. It sounds professional. It looks professional. And it's only $25. $25 I bought this for. I bought it for $25. $25. Do you know what else you can buy for $25? You can get the Ultra 2. The Ultra 2 as a 2020 blaster for $25. Or you can buy a Phoenix and really, really get your money's worth. I wouldn't go so far as to say that it is better than the Strife. I don't have a Strife. But I really don't plan on getting one anytime soon. This is good enough to last me plenty for a, for a while. The only real issue, this is the only complaint that I have with this blaster. And then this is going to the full understanding that I am completely unable to disassemble this blaster in any way. I can't take it apart if I wanted to. And if I do try, I might succeed, but I'll probably break it. This is the only thing I have to say. The battery tray is here, which means it's front heavy. There you go. Oh, yeah, and then and the jam door really isn't very good. I don't care about anything else. You gave me twice the darts that I needed to fill this blaster. It's, it's, it's about time. <laughs> and you made a blaster that is so usable, so easy to find, and so viable in retail. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Creeper Squad Nerf. If you're interested in this blaster, which I very much recommend if you want to buy a Strife but don't have the money to shell out $55 to $60 to get one online now. The Amazon link will be in the description below. With that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel. If you're new, like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Do you think the future of Elite 2.0 is bright or dark? Because I can't make that decision. As it is right now, it's a mix of both. We have blasters like the Turbine and the Phoenix. But then we have blasters like the Shockwave. That's what the Search Fire one. We have blasters like the Shockwave and the Warden put together. The future is a mix right now. I haven't decided whether I support or am against Elite 2.0. I like the idea. I absolutely love the idea of getting Elite Blasters and making them more tactical. I don't approve of clipping them together, but that's something that I can get around. I am going to have so much fun playing with it. In stock form. Now, granted, I don't have a Dark Zone Spectrum. 
they didn't even have one at the store. They didn't have any spectrums at the store. But I'm perfectly happy with this. I am perfectly happy with the Phoenix, as it is. As it is! I don't care about modding it. It's just fine, just the way it is. Yeah, I could probably talk about this all day, but I should probably wrap up the review. So once again, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed, comment what you think the future holds for Elite 2.0. I'm going to go and play with this thing until the batteries are dead. I will see you next time. Bye.